Hey guys, my name is Jamin. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. In this video, I have a Lenovo IdeaPad 5 15 inch version. I'm going to show you how to access your CMOS battery in case you need to replace it. Maybe it's dead or maybe you're trying to manually reset BIOS, which would involve temporarily removing the battery and then putting it back in. So first thing you want to do guys, power down your computer the correct way. Make sure it's off and unplugged from the charger. We're going to flip it over to access your bottom case screws. Now you have several screws. You have three up here along the top of the screen, four down here on the bottom, one to the left middle, one to the right middle. And these are all of your screws. Once you get those screws up, guys, you're going to take a small, flat, preferably plastic pry tool. Metal tends to scratch the case a little bit much. Uh, so plastic pry tool, I like using a hard guitar pick. And you're going to go around this seam right here that you can see right at the bottom of your bottom case, all the way around nice and slow. And you're going to slowly pry up this bottom case from the computer. Be careful not to put the pry tool too far in. You could damage some components. So just keep it on the outside and gently but firmly pry up this bottom case. It may take a, a couple passes around. Once you get that bottom case off, this is what you're looking at for the inside of your computer. Now, before I do anything in a computer, I always remove or at least unplug the battery. Um, again, just like we unplug the charger, we want to get as little power running through the computer as possible to avoid damage anything while we're poking around inside. So if you have a battery that looks like this inside, um, this is your battery plug right there. And it's actually kind of hard to unplug it independently of removing the battery. So what I did is I just removed my battery. So I had these two screws here on the right, these two screws here in the middle, and this screw here on the left. And that way, once I unscrewed it, then I could pull that out and remove my battery. As another side note, guys, this ribbon cable right here to the left of the battery port tends to stick on the battery. And sometimes when you take out this battery, you pull that right out of that port and you can break that port. So just to be on the safe side, what I would recommend is take out this ribbon cable from that port before taking your battery out so you don't break it. Um, if you notice, this is a black clip that folds up and down, you can see the brass hinges, that black clip, put a small flat pry tool in there and, and open it up. It opens kind of like a book. And again, those are brass hinges. It, it opens on those hinges. So pop that open, slide the ribbon cable out, and then shut that black clip again so you don't break it when taking out that battery. So after the battery is removed, the computer is now safer to work on. This over here, guys, is your CMOS battery to the left of your fan. It's a battery wrapped in black electrical tape and the black and red wires plug into the motherboard here. So if you're replacing this guys, this is just held on by double sided tape. You can grab that and pop it right off. Um, if you're only here to reset BIOS, you don't have to physically remove it. Unplugging it is enough. So this is your plug right here. Don't grab on the wires that goes for again, any, anything in a computer. Don't grab on the wires. If, if you can help it, grab it by the port with either a pair of pliers, or your fingernails on either side or a pry tool or whatever you have, uh, grab it by the port, pull it directly to the right. That will un unplug it and then leave it unplugged for 10, 15, maybe 20 seconds. And that is usually sufficient to reset your bio settings. After that, you would simply plug it back in as a side note, guys. Um, one of the very common ways people are here is because their date and time settings are wrong in bios and they can't get it to save. If that's why you're here, just taking a stab, in, in the dark, maybe 45% of you are here for that. But if you're here for that and you reset BIOS and you plug it in and it's still not accepting that correct date and time, most likely guys, the battery is dead. In, the, in that case, you, you would need to replace that CMOS battery. Uh, but that is how you access a CMOS battery in this model computer. That is how you reset BIOS manually using that CMOS battery. So I hope this helped you guys out. I, I, I hope this helped you accomplish what you were trying to accomplish. Um, if you have any questions, check out the FAQs in the description below. It could save you some time looking for an answer. Um, if you do need to leave me a question or comment, please feel free. I do try to get to those a couple times a day at least. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I look forward to seeing you on my next video.